Do you guys like my plastic spoon? Thank you, I love it too. Cheers. I just sat down, going to do my devos. This is my new morning spot. I used to do it on the floor if you guys watched my previous videos, but we ended up rotating the bed. We have this little built-in shelf here. So I just sit here along the bed. I can use this as a little table for my coffee. And I just have everything on me. But I'm so cozy in all my pillows and blankets. It's much nicer than the floor, for sure. <laughs> this is Cora in action of what she does every single morning. She's gonna lay down on it pretty soon. She won't lay on my lap, but if there's a Bible or a journal, she will. Because she knows my attention is on that and not her. But now that she's over it, of course it's on her. She is so naughty. You are rude and disrespectful. The time has come to get ready for the day. But Cora's chilling. She used to do this all the time in the upstairs sink. And she just started doing it again in the downstairs sink. She's just so cute. But I need to take you out so we can get on with our day, baby girl. I just got all ready for the day. I went with a super tight French braid because we're probably gonna go jet skiing later and this is the most comfortable hairstyle to have while being in the water getting splashed really hard. This is breakfast for the day. Just trying to use up leftovers so they don't go bad, but literally the end of a bread loaf because we're all out of bread and then chicken salad and it's super good. I'm gonna finish eating this and then I will get started on the productive side of things for the day. Just finished up with eating, so I'm gonna start cleaning up the kitchen, just some stuff on the counter to put away, and then a few dishes. These are a whole bunch of oranges that were not very good. <laughs> but before I start on this, I'm gonna get laundry going. I like to get it going first thing. That way, once I finish something, normally I can switch it over by then. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys something. This is probably the messiest area in our house right now. I don't know what's going on. This is donation stuff that one of our clients that we clean for is going to donate. She said, go through the stuff, see what we want, and then donate the rest, obviously. So that's the donate bag. I'm actually keeping all this, so I'm going to put it all away. These need some help. I'm thinking of taking the lining out and then just keeping this part. Super minimal laundry. This is all cleaning supplies, cloths. So we're going to do this first. I just do a good splash of vinegar. Every now and then I'll do baking soda, but I just did that like last week, so it does not seem necessary to do it again. Okay, laundry's going, so I'm gonna start cleaning up the kitchen. And the motivation behind it is that once I'm done cleaning the kitchen, I'm gonna show you guys a little thrift haul of yesterday. And I'm very excited because I got quite a bit of good stuff. guys the new faucet that i installed probably like a week or so ago now i'll show you guys i did film it so i love it i'm so happy with it and it makes a really big difference doing dishes because the other one was so low to the sink it was really hard to wash like big pans and stuff because it would just constantly be hitting the faucet and it honestly looked more like a faucet that would be on a mop sink or something for a laundry room that kind of thing and we happen to have this faucet already i bought it over two years ago from home depot on sale with the idea of using it for our bus but our bus is nowhere near needing a faucet yet i just bought it because it was on sale so we decided to put it in here for now and i'm really happy we did it's making a big difference so super happy with that I just finished cleaning the kitchen dishes, all surfaces wiped off, sink cleaned out. It feels so good. So now we get to do the thrifting haul. So everything I have here is from St. Vincent's. I got this adorable little cutting board with like an edge on it. I don't know. I think it's really cool. 
And I'm kind of a lover slash collector of cutting boards and then also jars, specifically clear blue and green jars. You can get like cute, unique looking ones. You can open it up. My plans were to have this up in the Airbnb with all the other collection. I might just start one down here. I do need things down here to make it feel like home because it's very sparse down here. I have nothing down here. So it might be nice to like start my own down here. Next thing are these two large coffee cups or maybe you would use these for like cocktails. But the purpose that I got these for are for coffee. In our Airbnb, I actually got this for Christmas like two years ago for my sister-in-law and they're tiny little espresso shot glasses. And it's exactly like these. Now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if they're for shots, like for alcohol and not for espresso shots. I don't actually know. I guess it could work either way, but I have them on my espresso machine and that is the purpose that I meant them for. They're completely identical. So I was super excited about finding these two. Next thing I got was like this old fashioned antique slinky. It's like so fun. I actually can't stop playing with it. These are super fun when they go down the stairs. I don't know if you guys have ever done that, um, but this was $3 and I just think it's gonna be a fun thing to have up there. I like to have decor that like on the bottom shelves that kids could play with, but that can also look just kind of older, eclectic, whatever you call it. Just decor that can be safe and kids can actually have fun with it. Cause we try our best to make it more of a family friendly space. <laughs> this one is funny. I was so excited about this one and I just realized like a tiny bit ago that it's not what I thought it was. It's unopened, brand new sheet set for only $5.19. What a great deal. We need more of these for our Airbnb upstairs, just like extras. It's actually the exact same color of our other sheets. So I was like, this is perfect, wonderful. Also so confused of why it was so tiny. Like how does a whole queen sheet set fit in this? Well, it's not a whole sheet set. It says queen, but it's just the flat sheet. That's it. It's not actually the set. There's no pillowcases. There's no fitted sheet. It's just the flat sheet. <laughs> so we do also have two couches that people sleep on and they can just use this for on top of the couch. I'm still glad I got it, but I'm definitely not as excited about it as I was. <laughs> this next thing is also from St. Vincent's. This was $4. It's just a super, super soft throw blanket. I think it's a pretty big throw blanket though. It is so cozy and so, so soft. We have all of our comfy throw blankets upstairs in the Airbnb. So I think I'm gonna keep this one for myself and I'm super excited to have just a cozy little blanket again rather than hauling our huge blankets around everywhere I go. Cause I'm a freeze baby and I always love to have a snuggly blanket. So this just makes me super happy. And there's just two more things that I got from Bean Sprout. Beansprout is known as a baby's kids place, but now has like an adult section and it's actually really good. They have super great prices. So I got this Carhartt shirt, basic long sleeve shirt, and then it says Carhartt on the side of it. I like the color. I'm excited for this and I really like long sleeve shirts. Crop top American Eagle flannel. I love flannels. I think this would be super cute over high-waisted light wash holy jeans right now it looks super funny with what i'm wearing probably wear it like with this with the shirt tucked into high-waisted jeans quite a few things that i know i will wear this with and it's really comfy super soft this is only three dollars and it's american eagle and the other one was only four and it's carhartt so anyways that's it now i have to continue on with laundry <laughs> We're all dressed, packed, ready to go to town, to the bank, and to go jet skiing. I had to check the mail because we were expecting exciting stuff. We got our Menards rebate and a huge check from cleaning. Guess how much our Menards rebate is for? Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars? I think it's gonna be more. What? How did you know? No way. I thought it was gonna be like a hundred something. I guess I didn't send the rest of the rebates. 
I'm just moving computer stuff around. Anyways, it was 68. That was really good, babe. Dom builds computers on the side just for the funs of it. And this is my desk now. So before we go have fun, now that our duties around the house are done, we just do a little bit of book work, get our deposits, checks written up, they head to the bank, and then we basically have fun from there on out. But this is fun too. I love this side of things. Grab the other side of this. Where are you moving to? Office. You're being in your office? There's yes. no room. Yes, sir. It's right where the cat thing is. You should have it right in there. And you want to deal with it. Are you serious? I don't mind in here. Do you well, want it in it there? It just gives you a little more room. I like, kind of like it in there. Just because then I have all my computer stuff in I'm there. not complaining. It's all good. postcard from my client. So I'm gonna save it. This is cute. <laughs> Corey's gonna come up here. Every single time I write out checks, she comes up. It's so weird. When I do things that don't really matter, I don't know, like things where it wouldn't be in the way, like being on my phone, she doesn't come and try to sit on my phone or even sit on me. But then when I'm like writing out checks, reading my Bible, trying to wash my face, brush my teeth. She's like in the way, on it, in it. <laughs> Anyways, so here she is. She's probably gonna come and try to sit right here or knock my phone over every single time, every week without fail. Okay. And she's persistent too. Yeah, I'll knock her down and she'll come right back. Thanks to her. Okay, so this load just got done being washed. I'm gonna throw it in the dryer, but I wanna show you guys a little hack to cut the drawing time almost in half. Put all your wet stuff in, and then take a completely dry towel, shower in there, and this will cut your drawing time in half. Okay, we're putting dishes away. I wanna show you what's super satisfying about not having a silverware drawer. Here we go. That is so satisfying. It makes me almost not even want a silverware drawer because you don't get to normally do that. Thank you. We just got done at the bank. Dominic's getting gas right now in a gas tank for the jet ski. But I just wanna talk about how much I love Fridays. Fridays are always so good. I don't know if you guys have a favorite day of the week. Fridays are always my favorite day of the week and always end up being the best days. It's just a perfect mixture. Since we don't do actual cleaning on Fridays, it's really fun because we catch up on all of our housework. Then we do side business work. Every now and then we'll do like a one-time job or if we have a really busy week, we'll do like a couple jobs Friday, but it's nothing like what we do the rest of the days in the work week. And it's kind of like our day. Since we're together 24 seven, but with work and responsibilities, it's a good time for us to disconnect from work and just do stuff together that we love. So payday, we always do Culver's. That's like our special date. We love Culver's and then do jet skiing together. And that has been so special. We will go multiple times a week, but especially Fridays. It's just a perfect mixture. Being productive, getting things done, staying responsible with the business, but then also just disconnecting and it's like a great way to start off the weekend. It's so fun. Other than that, I'm not sure what we're gonna get up to yet. So you can tell it's hot. My face is getting like so red already. It's almost 90 degrees and humid again today. It's a perfect day for the lake. The lake is so peaceful today. It's not windy at all.
ringlet that perfect. Yep. Oh my goodness, I asked for extra lettuce and they did not disappoint. This looks so good. She just got out of the bath. I was in there for a whole hour, actually over an hour. That felt so nice to wash my hair, shave, exfoliate, just lay in the bath. I love doing that on Friday evenings after like being outside for a long time, being productive, like, relaxing just feels so much better after that. We're just gonna chill. Good evening. Hey guys, so it's a while later. It's almost nine o'clock and the night got interesting. So we had Airbnb guests that were supposed to be leaving tomorrow before 12 and then we had a flip so someone else is coming in tomorrow at 3 But we got a message from her and she's so nice and they're not mad at all But they're leaving early, but they were super happy with everything So we get really happy when we have the upstairs because it does still kind of feel like our home So we just spontaneously called my parents and they're coming over for supper I'm whipping together some chicken fettuccine. I already have leftover chicken that I need to use up anyways. They'll be here in like five minutes. We're gonna eat, watch a show, check out how upstairs is. Let's see how they left it. Oh, so sweet. Wow, they even put dishes away. Oh my word. They literally are doing laundry. the bathroom window open. Check up in the bell tower quick. It's so cute up here at night. I gotta water this. Just this one on and these is like so charming. It's like the coziest thing ever. I love it so much. It makes my heart so happy.